Hello everybody, my name is Shokes1301 and welcome to today's video. We are continuing on our playthrough of Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon Hard 1, but my cat ends my turn. So just as a reminder, this video series is based on the premise of my cat ending my turn. So at the beginning of my turn, I start a timer in between 10 seconds and 45 seconds, and it randomly picks a time in that range. And then once the timer goes off, a recording of my cat meowing plays, and I can't attack, move, or do anything else in my turn. I just have to end it. Now, I'm very simple in concept, very disastrous in results, as we saw last time. So, we are actually getting very, very close to the end of this playthrough. Um, we are on chapter 24, and the next chapter is the endgame map. So, very, very close. Um, very exciting. So, last time we fought Garnif, we didn't actually defeat him, because all we did was just heal his power, which functionally was defeating him, so it worked out. Um, we didn't defeat him because we didn't make the Starlight spell, because we didn't want to give up the Star Sphere, um, or the Light Sphere, whichever one it is. And so yeah, it worked out though. We It was a little scuffed, but we made it. And now we are continuing on to Deluna, because the game decided that magically we're going to warp here and defeat the final boss. Deluna, Land of the Monaquettes. Before Medius, the Dragonkin had few dealings with the human realm, but when the Shattered Dragon came, the Fire Nation attacked and everything changed. He sunk all Arcane into a cycle of war in which heroes rose and heroes fell, always claiming his cause was just and the human deaths deserved. But now Medius's empire was crumbling, he was nearing the end of his reign, even as Marth was nearing the end of his long quest. And those two things are not mutually exclusive. So this is um, the last numbered chapter, and it's a pretty big map. So you start up here, and the end point, the cease point, is right here in the middle, which is very close to where you start. But there's all these mountains, and so Marth like can't make it because of these peaks here, and then the like, castle that blocks him. So if you're walking, you gotta walk all the way over here, all the way around, and then make it there. Um, you fight a lot of dragons on this map if you play it normally, and then it can kind of be a slog, not gonna lie. And then here in the middle, you have the chest, which is the Staff of Alm, which is what Marth's sister was talking about at the end of the last chapter. It's the staff that she can use to bring back a lost ally. Um, importantly, there is a thief here that will try to steal the staff if you are not quick enough. Now... We are not planning on playing this chapter normally. I have some preps here that we have saved. So the basic plan, so you're not lost, is we have Katria here. And she will run up and kill the boss in one round of combat with the Gradivus. And then we can just warp Marth to the seize point and we win. Now importantly, we need enough time to warp Marth to the seize point and to warp Julius, Julian, to the chest in the same turn, which may or may not happen. We'll see how much time we get. But yeah, that's that's our basic premise. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna go for it. There, sire, up on the mountains to the south, you can see Deluna Keep. And inside is Medius, king of the Earth Dragons, the one they call the Shadow Dragon. Roll credits. Why doesn't he leave the keep and face us? Well, sire, the game needed an excuse to not have the final boss be this chapter. Oh, sorry, that was breaking the fourth wall. I recall Lord Goto saying his return is not yet complete. Only within the keep's walls can he maintain dragon form. Really? Then we have the advantage. To Deluna Keep, then, let us put a stop to this war. Alright, player phase starts. Let's start the timer. 20 seconds, not a lot of time, but... Definitely enough time to have Katria do 23 times 2 to this guy. This land, all of it, it belongs to us. Then you humans took it, defiled it. Yeah, whatever, dude. Um, you're just gonna die. Uh, Emperor Medius, forgive your student's weakness, your servant's weakness. Well, that was a very quick first turn. Um, but we killed the boss already, so that was productive. And that'll be it for this first turn. Unfortunately, we didn't get the chance to shoot a ballista at the thief, um, so player face starts. There is a sniper coming in for Katria, so we're going to move back here. I do want to try to shoot the thief with the ballista. Um, please hit. Yes! 
Now we don't have to worry about the chest. Now, one thing we need to do is we need to actually kill Tiki. <laughs> I haven't killed many characters in this playthrough, but in order to get 24x, Tiki's gotta go. So, we're just gonna work her in the midst of a whole bunch of enemies, and this poor tiny dragon girl has just gotta go. So, uh, good luck, Tiki! No, Tiki! Now, that might have seemed very heartless, but you might remember, we are going to get a staff that literally allows us to resurrect a previous ally. So, that's the plan, is to just resurrect Tiki. Um, I'm going to bring Catchy over here in case I still have to wait more turns before I can do my warp strategy. Um, I really need like 30 seconds. And considering the range is 10 to 45 seconds, it's not a great thing to bet on. But it's what I got. So, <laughs> that's what we're going to have to go with. Alright, so these guys are coming in hot. They're all coming to attack us. Um, I just want to take a moment. This guy's going to do how much to Catria? 12. Okay, that's fine. These guys are coming in hot too. Anyway, start the phase. 24 seconds is not enough time. So that's unfortunate. Um, I'm going to give our general here the pure water so that he can have more defense against... Oh, we have a barrier staff? Cool. Um, I don't really want to do that warping though. Because I can't just warp Marth to the throne and then not get the chest. Especially after I like sacrifice Tiki like that. Uh, okay. So Gatria gets attacked here. Lots of damage, but she does kill. So that's, that's good. I just need to get lucky. Next turn. 30 seconds. What an amazing level. Please let me get lucky. Wait, that sniper just kind of like saved us. 29 seconds. All right, we're going to make that work. Go, Julian. Go, go, go. Oh, no, Boa. Boa, don't don't ruin this with your dang level up. Boa, please. Please. Okay, Julian, get the chest. Great. Okay, Lena. Warp Marth. Great. Don't ruin this with a good level up. Come on. Come on. I got seven seconds. Let's go. And we made it. Easy peasy. Whew. Apparently, I needed 25 seconds. We did it. Let's go. Marth. Can you hear me? Oh, it says connection buffering. Oh, just just one second. Oh, oh. Lord Godo? Oh, it did work. Okay. I know you mean to challenge Medius, but you and your companions haven't the power to win. What? Why not? Because I failed to retrieve Falcon? You also failed to save the Divine Dragon Girl. Yeah, this game's basically like, you failed, man. You, you don't have the tools you need to defeat Medius. <laughs> Which I think is just really funny. <laughs> so they give you this chapter if you meet two conditions. One, you didn't get the Falcon. And two, Tiki died. This is why Tiki needed to die. Because in this upcoming chapter... We get a better version of Tiki, basically, um, who can help us defeat Medius. So this is that's the only reason we sacrifice Tiki. And I, I say, you can't see me, but I used air quotes for that because we are going to bring her back. I did not mean for anything to happen to her. You can put your heart at ease. Tiki is not dead. She has nearly returned to her slumber. Still, without her powers. We must take other steps. Select a handful of your best warriors. I must send you into an unseen dimension. An unseen dimension, my lord? A place outside the confines of our world. The Deus Ex Machina. There you will find a tower. And once in the tower, you must pass its keeper's test. If your strength and your need are great enough, the tower's master will answer, and then perhaps your fortunes will be changed for the better. Alright, well we did chapter 24, let's go, now we're on chapter 24x, A World Apart. So yeah, this this really, this extra chapter is really designed just to like make sure you have something that can attack Medius and do damage. 
Marth did as Godo instructed and chose soldiers for his journey into the unseen. What lay within the tower in this alternate world of Hester? Marth's heart wavered. But with neither the Divine Blade Falcon nor the Divine Dragon Girl to aid him, the tower's master was his last hope of defeating Medius. Godo had told Marth to find a coffin. So while most of his companions remained in the material world to battle Deluna, Marth and his chosen few scoured the tower in search of a mysterious savior. So yeah, this is it. Chapter 24X. Um, I've actually like rarely played this chapter because usually like you get, I mean, a lot of times when people play, they like train up Marth, you know, get the Falcon, you know, those kinds of things. Um, things we did not do, clearly. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Huh. That's really interesting. So something I just noticed is that if you warp up to the chest behind these priests, they won't actually attack you because they don't move. And Swarm has 3 to 10 range. Um, so yeah, that's, that's cool. So anyway, the basic plan for this chapter is to warp up, kill the boss, warp Marth, and win. Um, so then that way we just do as little as possible. <laughs> I mean, in all honesty. The important thing though is that one of our warp staves only has one use left. So I want to hammer in that staff using Lena's hammer staff. Um, because we'll need, I think we'll need it for the final chapter, I could be wrong. So anyway, we're going to trade it to Wendell and hammer in it. The other thing is that we can kind of take as long as we need for this chapter, so that's pretty nice. Um, I also don't have like a strategy built in yet for this chapter because, like I said, I, I really don't play it all that frequently. Um, but I think our basic strategy is we're going to just have our generals chill here and here and then take as much time as we need while people come at us. Um, importantly, what I do want is... I want someone to kill the boss, which Katria will most definitely be able to do. And then I need two thieves for the two chests, which we have. Because, um, where's his face? Ricard, there you are. And then we also need... I don't think I need all three warpers, but I'll just bring them anyway. Um, I think I'm going to bench Abel for this map. And then bring Elise. Because that way... Elise can use the Staff of Om. Because I'm pretty sure it's only Elise. <gasps> Maybe Lena? Is Lena considered a princess in this game? Let's see. Oh, not Elise. Julie. Lena is not considered a princess. Okay, so, I mean, I guess our best bet's Elise then. That doesn't have to be Elise. Um, but she's good enough. Also, she can use Fortify, which is pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, I think that's a pretty decent strategy. I... We'll see how it goes. And let's go. This must be the Tower Lord Godo spoke of. Sire, it's teeming with soldiers. Who are they? They fly no recognizable banner. They are the keepers whose test I must pass. You mean to fight them then? Godo says we must prove ourselves. Very well. We'll see the tower. Follow me. And by follow me, Marth means um, go in front of me, do all the work, and then I will come after you because I can't fight a fly. Alright, so we got our generals in position. Now we can start warping our thieves. Because I don't think there's any danger in doing this. Where's the chest? There we go. Get the chest. Oh wait, don't attack. Okay, well, I missed that. But we can get it next turn, I think. Okay, no damage. And kill. Oh, that was pretty chill. No damage. I don't think we'll kill this time, but that's completely fine. Physic him, that's fine as well. Physic him, that's completely fine. Um, enemies are moving, but that's perfectly fine. Yeah, I think, I think this strategy's got it. So let's get the chest. 
Okay, that's completely useless. I actually don't know what's in these chests. I just figured we'd get them just to get them in case they had something useful, honestly, is, is what I'm going with here. Um, also, because it's kind of just free to do it. Excalibur? Okay, that's like... Good night, game. Alright, well, that was... Now, we, if we have to reset, we're definitely not getting the chest, because that was definitely useless. <laughs> but that's good to know. So anyway, now the plan is we're going to Hermurn all three warps. We're going to take the time to do that, since, like, no enemies are coming at us. Um, and then we can just finish the map after that. Man, we got 44 seconds for this one. That's so sad. I can't believe that we had so much time for this turn. Um, well, I guess we could use this time to attack these guys. So let's just finish them off. And I think that's basically it. I could have Beck, like, attack this guy. Alright, nice job, Beck. Hey, back experience is good experience, because he's going to be helpful in defeating the final boss. And so, anytime we can get him a kill, it's, it's worth it doing. Alright, pretty chill. 27 seconds. I don't think that's enough time to warp both Marth and Katria. Whoa, the game just wigging out there. It's like super... Laggy. <laughs> Alright, one sec. Alright, we're back. It stopped lagging, so that's nice. Alright, so we attacked with Beck, and I think that's the end of our turn. So we'll just go with that. Alright, start the timer. Okay, we want to Hermurn, the Warp Staff. Alright, so we Hermurn the Warp Staff, so we're good there. Um, and that's basically our turn, so we're just going to go for that. It lagged a little bit, but now we should be good. Alright, so we got 16 seconds, let's Pachyderm this guy. Man, this Pachyderm that's forged, so strong. Um, so we are going to trade the warp, so then we can Hermurn the warp, and there we go. Now we have three full warp staffs. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to use the staff of Om that Elise has to bring Tiki back. Alright, so we start our timer, 16 seconds, that's plenty of time, that's all we're doing. So we have the opportunity to bring Gordon, Est, and Tiki. Um, of those, Tiki is the most important, so we'll just bring back her. Yay, Tiki's back! Wow, that doesn't even give 100 experience? That's so funny. Um, so yeah, that'll be our turn. Alright, let's... Now we basically just have to wait until um, we get enough time. I'm actually going to have, like, Beck just keep moving until he can find an enemy to attack while we're waiting. 28 seconds? That might actually be enough time, but I kind of want Beck to get some experience. Because he's just, I mean, he's basically getting free kills with his Pachyderm here. Also, is Katria in danger if she just warps up there whenever? I actually don't think she is. I mean, that bishop has 19 attack. The armor slayer guy can't hurt her. And if Katria is here, if Katria is here, she can't even be hit by the snipers. So we could actually warp Katria in in a turn and then warp Marth in. That's good enough. 14 seconds is not really enough time to do either of those things, though. Um, so we'll just keep getting free Beck kills, I guess. Beck just slowly but surely wears down their entire army. 
All right, let's reset the timer. 25 seconds is enough time. Um, unfortunately, my warp people are like really far away. Um, warp. We're gonna bring her all the way up here, right there, and then come back up here. Gratavu, and kill this guy in one hit because Gatry is a monster. Let's go. Didn't even level up either. That's hilarious. Yes, and we got the kill off. Let's go. I just like frantically pressed A and we made it. That's what I'm talking about. Speed and luck. Nice. All right, so next turn, we need to warp Martha because Catcher is about to be in a sticky situation. All right, that guy does no damage and Catcher just kills. Very nice. Last minute experience on Catcher. I guess the snipers aren't actually that big of a deal for Catria because she has um, she has the IO shield which protects her from sniper damage. But either way, we're just gonna finish this battle off right here, right now. Let's go. Warped Marth up and see, and that's the chapter. Let's go. Sire, look. Star stairs beneath the throne. Where could they lead? Probably to that coffin. Do you think this is the coffin? There are no others. And look, these markings around it are the same pattern as we saw in the Fane of Ramen. Hmm, you're right. We found a dragon girl in the Fane. I wonder if these symbols, huh? Sorry, the coffin. It's opening. Yeah, thanks, Minius. I know, I got eyes. What? No, it must be some kind of trap. Or some kind of, uh... Woman? Could she be the master Goto spoke of? Who are you? My name is Mark, Prince of Althea. And you, my lady? Me? My name is Nagi. Nagi? I was sent here to find you by a man named Godo. Godo? I know that name. But from where? I cannot recall. You've lost your memory? I cannot say for certain. But your voice? I heard you calling. Did you rouse me from my sleep? I, uh... Not on purpose? <laughs> Your soul called out to me, begging for my help, for this blade. That, that's Falcon. How did you get it? I cannot remember. But you need it. I know that. And you need my powers. Your powers, my lady? Take me with you. I must finish what I started. I think. I must fight with you. Oh, we got the Falcon! Yeah, I didn't see that plot twist coming, did you? We ended up getting the Falcon anyway. Alright, well, that'll be it for today's episode. Um, next chapter is the final chapter of the game, the end game. We're going to beat the game next video. That's super exciting. Thank you all so much for joining. It was a lot of fun. It did lag a little bit. There'll be a, some edited parts. The timer might jump around a bit. So just... Forgive me for that, but, you know, stuff happens. Um, remember that you're worthwhile, unique, and important. And with that, we hope to see you next time.